Heidi ho eighth, eighth graders. Hopefully we have the sound fix for this section. I know it was tough to hear the last one. I did some playing with the computer. And I think we may have it fixed this time. What we'll find out. So section three now, we're going to talk about transformations. I know this is something that we've done before in class. Um, so we're just going to kind of do a little brief overview of it. You're going to spend a lot more time on it next year in geometry. We're basically just going to learn what the four transformations are. And next year, you're going to learn more about them in the XY plane. OK? So the two big things that we need to know, there's two big vocabulary words. And that is pre-image and image. All right? And what we know is that the pre-image is the position of the original figure. So when you get the problem or get the original picture, that's called a pre-image. The image is the position of the figure after the transformation. All right. So whenever you're asked to find the image, you know what you're finding. Or if you're given a pre-image. Okay, we need to know those two vocabulary words so you know what you're being asked when you read through a test or a book, uh, the ERB when you take that at the end of the year, different things like that. Okay, so let's take a look at these four transformations. This won't be very long, uh, it's just the one side of the notes. The first type of transformation we have is reflection. Pretty easy, figure is reflected or flipped might be another word you want to use over a specific line. Okay? It's reflected or flipped over a line. So an example we might want to use, I can draw this little Pac-Man looking figure. If I want to flip him or reflect him over that line, it's going to turn into an image that looks like this. more or less. I'm not a great artist, so you kind of have to use your, your imagination. But remember, this is called the pre-image. This one is called the image. All right. Another example, we could flip it uh, vertically, where I have this triangle. I want to flip it over that line. In, it, in which case, if I flip it down, it's going to look like this. All right? That's a reflection. A translation, the second one we're going to do, is one of the easiest uh, to do. You're just sliding it. The figure is slid in any direction. So whatever the figure is shaped like, we could have this square. And I want to slide it, and it'll be up here now. Again, I'm not a very good artist. I know those aren't the same shape. Eh, actually, they're not too bad. It's one of my better drawings. But we could also have something like this. Say I have a little crescent moon for a second example. I can slide it. Well, let's slide it that way. In which case, I translated it over here. All right? That's a translation, just sliding a figure from one area to another. Okay, let's take a look at the third one dilation. Dilation, the figure is enlarged or reduce. Okay? You're either enlarging it or reducing the size. So you're changing the size in this case. We could have a triangle like this. If we enlarge it, the image may look something like this. Okay? This would be making something twice as big or three times as big. Or you could do the opposite and have a big pre-image and reduce it, shrink it by a half, shrink it by a third, something like that, and end up with a smaller image. All right? 
So that's a dilation. It's changing its size bigger and smaller. And the last one we can have is a rotation, where the figure is just turned around a specific point. Okay. So we might have uh, something like this. Have this quadrilateral. I tell you there's a point here. I can rotate it around that point and have it look like this. Let's see. This one's a little tougher to draw, to picture in my head. There we go. Okay? So I rotated it down. Okay? Now you can have more than one of these together. I could rotate and then flip about something. Or I could translate it and then, re and then reflect it about a line. Okay? We can do multiple things to them. You'll talk more about that next year. But this year we just need to learn what those four uh, transformations are so that next year you can learn more about doing them on the xy plane and you're going to learn specific ways uh, to do that given an xy coordinate or an ordered pair. All right? So that's all for section three. We have one more section left in this chapter and then it's time for the test. Good luck. We'll see you in class. Bye.